what's up guys welcome back to my channel this is across nigeria where we do news on politics celebrities and also metro story okay from my headline here you can see um the efcc confirmed uh, that investigations on outgoing and any political office holder found found uh, culpable of corruption uh, would be prosecuted okay so who and who um, are those people that the uh, EFCC are likely to prosecute when they leave office? Okay, so the EFC has set up an investigative team to probe um, four governors for corruption once they officially hand over. All right, um, from your own clue, who are those governors that you think um, EFCC? may likely prove when they hand over okay so i know the first person that will come into your mind is rocha so corrocha of Imo state okay um so he's also on the probe list of efcc uh, abdul fata ahmad of kwara state is also on the list of the efcc and mosu nobogun state um and abdulaziz yari of um, samfara state okay um Yari was alleged to have diverted 500 million naira and 500 thousand dollars from the state funds in 2017. Okay, so the money being part of Paris club funds, this boss to state was recovered from two firms, First Generation or Mortgage Bank Limited and Gosh Project Limited, linked to Yari. All right. Um, also, most soon would be investigated following a petition written by the Committee for Protection of People's Mandate, accusing Omosun of misappropriation of a whooping sum of 4 billion naira anchored borrower's fund given to the state by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Okay, so the group actually claimed that um, Omosun deceived. Godwin Emifele, the CBN governor, when he came to the state for inspections, um, while also insisting that Umosun had abandoned the project and diverted the fund for his own personal use. All right, so on his part, Okorocha was accused of moving over one billion from state government to aid the campaign activities of Uche Umosu, his son in law. Remember, he couldn't install his son in law. Um, he wanted to install the son-in-law as the governor of Imo State, but the people of Imo State actually says no, that they want to vote for the candidate of their choice. So at the end of the day, the head you have of the PDP emerges the winner in Imo State, all right? Uh, so the commission had already arrested um, Uzoha Kasma, accountant general of Imo State, for assisting Okorocha to move the funds okay so i mad i met the outgoing governor of kwara state was said to have successfully diverted the sum of one billion from the state all right so he will also be probed by the efcc though the efcc have early arrested six commissioners and government officials who might be involved in the criminal act so the commission stated that banks officials have been invited for questioning you know, or those banks officials are the ones aiding these people to move these funds. All right, so they have been also um, they have been invited by EFCC for questioning and made document available for the commission. So the EFC had confirmed that investigations are ongoing, and any political office holder found guilty of corruption would be prosecuted all right guys um that's the story so far um those are the four governors so by the time the handover will be on the efcc custody for questioning and prosecution if you have anything to contribute uh, you can do that on the comment section below i am out i will see you in the next video